The old cliche says that time heals all wounds. Time off the bike does mean that Drew's shoulder is back in black. But when it comes to riding BMX, competing in X Games, adapting to a mountain bike, traveling the world collecting FMB points, and qualifying for the biggest, baddest contest in slope style, time off the bike is less than ideal. Yeah, watch it. Uh, got the worst on the track. Mic check, check one, two. If it ain't a check a text, that's all I'm gonna do. Mic check, check one, two. If you ain't talking dollars, I can't understand you. How, how many days do you have on a mountain bike before here after X? Two hours. Two hours, huh? You can do a lot of things in that amount of time. But two hours to prepare for your mountain bike debut? That seems a little short. Coming straight from X Games in the BMX contest, it's kinda a little, a little rush to get back on the big bike. Unfortunately, I missed Watch Rocket Air. Right before the contest, I ended up popping my shoulder out and having like a slight injury, so did the proper rehab. We're back here, we're 100%, and we're, we're ready to go at it. When the news was announced that like, you know, I'm gonna be riding some slope style contest this year. <laughs> I think the fans almost had more belief in me than I had in myself. They were like calling out the kind of the top guys in slope style being like, oh, you know, you guys gotta watch out now. Like, you know, and they're almost like, I'm just gonna come in and like take over, be that competitive right off the bat. I gotta learn a whole new sport. Like, yes, it's riding a bicycle, but there's so many different features and elements to riding a slope course. Definitely not the result Drew or the folks on the internet comment boards were visualizing. Fucking bullshit. Like, if I was just to ride mountain bikes, yeah, it wouldn't be that hard, but juggle a BMX career and this is fucking terrible. So many bad words. He must be upset. What do you figure our sports psychologist guy will have to say about this? Yeah, it's really interesting when you get into competitive situations that in some cases people excel and, and do better, in some cases people do, do worse. Cortisol levels are too high, which is a stress hormone. That's a very good predictor that there will be no further improvement going in. I'm really kind of behind the eight ball coming into this event because I would have already liked to have had two stops under my belt and had a little bit more experience and more time on the bike. Now nah, it's, yeah, I'm just some mentally drained. The other shoulder, not exactly what I wanted, but it was a full pull until I fucking died. I knew it was gonna be a lot of work to make it to Joyride, and it's still gonna be a ton of work. I Do I think it's still possible? Yes, I still think it's very possible. Did I underestimate it? No, did I, like, it's, 
I, I honestly don't have the fucking mental capacity to fucking put together a full answer, so I'm sorry, boys. Did I underestimate it? Sure, f yes, I did. If you can keep yourself calm, if you can keep yourself relaxed, if you can dissipate the stress hormones, specifically cortisol, and keep cortisol levels low, typically the body will adapt and the athlete will improve. I used to know what it took to love you. So check this out. One week on your BMX, you're fourth at X Games. The next on the mountain bike, you're struggling to even qualify for the finals. How I made you smile. Maybe this is going to be tougher than most people thought. If people would just remember the three steps to a healthy attitude. One, get the facts about what's worrying you. Two, make your plan. Obviously, to be competitive, I just need a lot more time on the bike. And three, carry out your plan. That way, you gain a perspective that will make your attitude better, make you feel better. That's how I want to start my mountain bike debut.